Hi. In the past two videos that I have shared, we have been sharing a conversation on creativity, sex and manifestation and how these three aspects work together. So I wanted to begin by just going over the past two videos just very briefly as a, as a recap. We have spoken about that manifestation is not about our thoughts alone. Our, it is to be conscious and aware of our thoughts, but also to notice the belief that is forming that thought, where the belief is coming from. And often we will find that if there is a belief that is not resonant with what we desire, that, that it will, when we tune into that belief, it will be... Um, something that we ingrained, something that we absorbed as truth as a child or a teenager or even an adult, a part of us that is stuck in a time and place where that was absorbed as true, whether that be that made us feel unworthy or unlovable or undesirable or helpless or hopeless. So it's noticing our thoughts as in where the thread is, where is the core, core belief. And then it's about coming into a, a feeling place because that thought will be uh, creating a feeling within us. And where in our body are we feeling that feeling? So if I say to myself, I love you, I can feel that love for myself, not in an egotistical way, but when I'm saying I love you, there is an expansion. I feel an expansion. And, but before, in my past, when I would say I love you, I would feel a tension in my throat. We may say that we desire something, but feel a discomfort in our belly. So it's about noticing and laying a hand on our belly, on our belly or our throat and noticing in our body what the belief is and what the fragmented part of ourself needs to feel worthy or lovable. I then spoke briefly about, well, I didn't speak briefly, it was a whole video, <laughs> um, about creativity, manifestation and sex being one energy. And we have um, being educated that our sexual energy, so the sensation of arousal, our eros, is for the act of sex alone. And it's again coming into this, when we feel something, we truly, truly know it. Coming into this feeling, knowing place that we are a sexual being. So that the energy that has been kept contained to our pelvic area can move and expand through the whole of our being. And this is where we come into this vibrational alignment and the power of our sexual energy is not contained to one pathway, the act of sex or self-pleasure or masturbation. It's being allowed to become to move into everything. And when we allow this, creativity then has a felt sense of being playful and curious and inspired and in awe. And it wants to explore life. 
there is a sincerity to that, not a serious to, na- to that. So as soon as we feel ourselves coming into seriousness or need or desperation, then it's about leaning towards um, curiosity, playfulness, sincerity, and leaning away from seriousness. Or And the seriousness will be because we feel that there is something we need to be doing. I need to be doing something here. We get very serious and we start trying hard. And that is a awful uh, energy of force and push. Um, and there may be desperation and need. So we want to notice that and take a breath and lean towards um, playful and, and uh, sincere in our intention. Also, if we see our sexual energy as damaged, broken, not good enough, um, then we are, in retrospect, saying that our creative self is damaged, broken, not good enough. They are the same source, the same energy. So today... I wanted to share with you about this being and not the doing. And I've spoken briefly about it before, where our responsibility is, our our biggest responsibility is our vibration. And that vibration is also about being receptive. So we send out our heart's desire. So we have this calling, we have this desire, we have this passion, we have this longing, and we we speak it, we we know it, we feel we feel it, and we that energy of that expands from us. What sometimes happens, actually <laughs> more than often happens is that everything that is in the way of that heart desire, because what we desire to experience also desires to experience us, everything that is in the way of that pathway starts to come forward. And this is often when people give up or think they can't manifest or... Yeah, start leaning towards what's coming up and don't stay focused and intentional from the heart. We're not being tested and we're not being punished. What's happening is the pathway is clearing. And if we can just stay in that resonant energy of what we, what our heart desires and what desires us to see as actually a relational thing, that we are desiring a relationship with something, and that something is desiring a relationship with us, and that everything that is in the way, all our beliefs of unworthiness or unlovable, they all start to show up, or lack lack, lack of money, lack of this, lack of that, that often this all starts to show up first. And it's not because you don't have the ability to manifest, because we all do. We are all creative, amazing, sexual beings, and we all have this ability. It's what we choose to believe and what we choose to vibrate and resonate with. When I said about not doing our, there is an active doing, as in there's a presence, there's an intention, there's a focus, and the rest is receptivity, this softening, this allowing in, this allowing ourselves to receive. And that may again show up as 
on that pathway that is clearing that we don't feel worthy of receiving um, or that we have edges to us that means that we can't truly allow in. There is a softening that won't happen. And again, we can feel that in our body. If we tune in to our body, we can feel that as uh, it may be something between our shoulder blades where we have created self-preservation to protect ourselves from the world. It may be the front of our heart space where we have a fear about allowing, allowing love in. There may be something in our, in our throat where we don't truly feel worthy. It's always about tuning in to the felt sense. What, what are we feeling? What is happening here in our body? And what belief, sorry, and what therefore what thought is coming up that is not in alignment, alignment with um, our heart desire. So if you have sent out a heart desire, there's, there's something that you want and you know you have this knowing that it wants you to, then, and all these things start coming in the way, then lean, keep leaning, keep breathing, <laughs> keep breathing and leaning towards the stronger sense of what you desire. And it's about honouring and listening and having gratitude for the things that are coming in the way because they're, they're coming up because they want to move out of the way. They want to dissolve. They want to be let go of so that this, what we desire and what desires us can, can come in, come into our, come into our experience. There is nothing for you to be doing, nothing for you to gain knowledge on. It's about allowing when these things are coming up to clear the pathway between what we desire and what desires us and we are emptying. And when we are emptying, we are becoming more receptive. And again, that receptivity has so much to do with our sexual energy um, and allowing ourselves to surrender to that energy rather than always contain and control and perform and um, have this idea that there is something we, we must be doing. I feel this is about moving into being. Um, yeah, really moving into being and surrender and receptivity and allowing things to move.